Hi, it's Nick Drew, and uh, I'm here today with one of the most essential items for moving plant around. It's the plant trailer. This is the new Tomate from ATE. So we've come here to our friends at Dynapack, uh, who are going to allow us to test the trailer out with one of their rollers. And I'm joined by Glenn here from ATE, he's product specialist, and he's going to tell us a bit more about this new trailer. Thank you, Nick. To confirm what you say, it absolutely is a brand new innovation from Tomate, which is a brand of ATE. A trailer that's specifically designed for moving plant and equipment, diggers, rollers, dumpers, anything that is required to transport to site. It is designed with the customer in mind and has many unique features which we'll be happy to run through with yourself. Brilliant, let's go and take a look. Thank you. So here we are at the back of the trailer, Glenn. Um, tell us about this, I see all these holes there. What, what's all that about? Excellent, so this is what we call our grip deck mesh ramp, uh, designed for the ease of loading. It provides a high grip surface, so when you're transporting rollers or diggers, smooth surface up into the back of the trailer. So Glenn, before we take this ramp down, I can see there's a, f a few things that need pointing out here, that's in the middle of this ramp, and your, your gas straps, so tell, tell us about those. Yeah, excellent, thanks Nick. So this is the full width of that ramp version, and it is a fully modular ramp. So if you are struggling with uh, weight capacity, the section here is removable, and also this base section here is removable. If you still want the ramps in a fixed position, the uh, bottom section can still remain. Now for safe dropping of the ramp, yep. we have these two gas straps located here, yep. one each side, and they are horizontally mounted with protective brackets underneath, nice. um, which enables a smooth drop of the ramp. Nice. These handles here also able to assist uh, bringing the ramp back up if needed. Yeah. We had a little practice earlier, lowering the ramp, and I could tell that there was something assisting us there. You know, what, what's going on there underneath there? Health and safety point to add uh, there is that the gas struts is actually what is assisting a safe descent and also helps push the ramp back up so there's no unnecessary strain to the operator. Right. So this is some ramp leg supports under here, which enables the trailer to be supported when loading equipment and smooth entry into the trailer. Nice. Another key health and safety feature, Nick, is that when the ramp is raised, the leg supports come up out of the way, ready for departure. Over against that, where prop stands are used, easy to forget and drive away and bend them. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people have done that in the past, for sure. So, Glenn, I see your bed here. It looks hard wearing material. Tell, tell us a bit more about it. Yeah, thanks, Nick. So this is a birch ply core. It is a high grip surface on top and a smooth, shiny surface on the bottom. Reason for is it repels anything such as dust, grime, and water um, ingress into the board. Nice. The core is a birch ply, so it's a highly durable product and long lasting. Yeah. I also noticed um, these, these tie down points. Excellent. So, on the tow mate range, as standard, we are offering eight tie down points on the bed of the trailer. Each tie down is rated to two tonne and enables safe securing of the load on the trailer, regardless of whatever it is. I understand a standard fitting, and I've had trailers in the past from other manufacturers where you've got to pay a bit extra, to be quite honest, so uh, that's okay. a good feature, yeah. Another feature to mention is the full LED lighting system. Dual volt, 1224 volt system. No mucking around when it comes to bolts, just straight on, hook up to the vehicle, drive away, working each time. Further round, we have the step. This enables a safe ascent into the equipment. It is low bearing and durable and again a high grip surface. Tell, tell me about the mud flaps then uh, Glenn. Yeah so let me demonstrate this. Right. It's made out of a rolled steel and designed to be stood on. So you've got the grip surface, a safe ascent into your piece of equipment. Brilliant. And of course you can come down here and step off this way as well. So. Exactly. Okay so yeah I'm just uh, testing out the durability of this trailer <laughs> and uh, obviously Right underneath me is the probably the most important part of any trailer, and it's the wheels. Tell us what's so special about your wheels. Yeah, thanks again, Nick. As standard, they are supplied with a 165 R13 wheel and tire assembly. That is on a five-star configuration, and a 112. Now that is standard across the entire Tomate range, enabling easy levels of maintenance. This is also available in an upgrade to a 185 R13 wheel. The whole range, again, is on a seal for life bearing, but ease of maintenance. So, Glenn, what's, what's new on your trailer here at the, at the business end? Yeah, we'll see. So, the electric system all mounts to this one socket at the front here. Easy replacement of the lead if it ever becomes broken, 
just can simply clip it in and clip to the vehicle. And that is on a 13 pin configuration as standard. I notice you've also got the uh, bracket there for putting buckets, digger buckets and stuff when, you, when you're travelling with a mini excavator. Absolutely. So the blade just hooks into there yeah. and then straps. So secure. Ideal. Yeah, one of the things that, you know, as an excavator operator myself in the past, um, you're always thinking about buckets, carrying buckets, and also on a trailer, putting your arm down so you're, you're well clear of the towing vehicle. So so how does this, this differ to other trailers? Extended drawbar for the boom, yeah. length of the boom. Different lengths on dependent on different excavators. Bucket hooks into there. That is a standard feature on all our plant trailer range. So uh, finally, we're here at the the front of the trailer as such and uh, I noticed this, this jockey wheel is quite a sturdy looking piece of kit. Tell, tell, us, tell us about that. Yeah so on this model it is actually an optional upgrade to the serrated rib jockey wheel. Right. As standard it comes to the 48mm plain tube jockey wheel. Is it also the option here currently fitted with the ring hitch. Yeah. It is also available with a 50mm ball coupling. Optional as to customer preference. Okay. Brilliant. Just run us through these these other features that, that are on this trailer or can be available to this trailer. So this is two eight hundred long, nine foot yeah. by thirteen hundred wide. Slightly longer than standard plant trailers, giving you extra room for the buckets at the front. There's also a pecker storage rack which can be situated in front of the digger bucket rest. Also a digger arm lock to prevent the swing of your boom. Upgrade on the wheels and tires as we spoke to the one eight five. Yeah. Different bed mounts as well. Yeah. So there's the, the grip surface that we see on the ramp here is also available on the bed with a high grip surface either the birch ply infill or a heavy duty GRP high grip surface. There are also many options on the ramp as well and the different options to a singular ramp. There's also an option for a 1700 long, currently is a 1400. So when you're moving about access equipment that has low ground clearance that aids with smooth entry into the vehicle. It's also what we class as a double angle ramp. Also a 1700 mil long, available in full width or individual ramp, which gives you that perfect transition into the back of the Tomate built rugged plant trailer. Brilliant, so uh, yeah, lots of options for the customer. Let's get a bit of plant on here.